Hi, my name is Courtney Hornoff. I'm going to show you how to format a paper in APA style using Microsoft 365. Before I start though, sometimes online apps don't allow you to um, select text or copy text the way you would, you would normally do. So some keyboard shortcuts that might be helpful during this video, uh, control A. So if you hold down the control key and hit A, you'll select all which means you'll highlight all of your text. Control, control Z is undo, Control X is cut, Control C is copy, and Control V is paste. Hopefully that makes it a little bit easier for us to move through this. Okay, I've already included my paper in a Microsoft Word document in 365, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start here. The first thing that you want to do is you want to think about your title, okay? The title of my paper is An English Student's Guide to the Rhetorical Situation, okay? That title is actually 54 characters long with spaces. When, you go to put, when we go to put in the running head, however, it needs to be 50, under 50 characters. And it also should communicate a message, an actual complete message, so that your people know, your audience knows what your paper is about. So an English student's doesn't work, even though it's under 50 characters, because it doesn't really communicate the gist of what your paper is about. So I've shortened my title to Student's Guide to the Rhetorical Situation because it captures the message in under 50 characters. Okay. So I'm just going to move that up for a second and we'll go ahead and start formatting. The first thing I want to do is hit control A so that all of my text is selected. Then I'm going to change the font under the home tab to Times New Roman 12. Then in the paragraph section of the home tab, I'm actually going to click on a little tiny arrow at the bottom right and I'm going to change my spacing to zero, zero, and double. So under spacing, the before should say zero, the after should say zero, and the line spacing should say double. Once you have those set, you're going to click OK. And then your paper should have automatically double spaced. Okay, I do have an extra space here, which I'll remove in a little while. Um, you may want to verify that you have one inch margins on the top, bottom, left, and right. To do that, you just click page layout tab at the top, click on margins, and verify that normal is selected. Normal is automatically set up so that your margins are one inch on all four sides. Okay. Then you'll click insert, header, and footer. And in that section, you want to go to the options on the right side. There's a little tiny arrow that you'll click on and you'll select different first page. So options, different first page. After you've done that, you'll notice that the options to click on to move between first page and other pages opens up on the left side. So the first thing I want to do before we actually type anything in is I want to adjust this table so that I can so that my running head will actually fit. So I'm going to hover over or move my mouse so that the double headed arrow shows up. I'm going to click and hold my left mouse button down and move it to the right. So I have a little bit of space left and then I'm going to do the same thing with the section dotted line in between the first column and the middle column and I'm going to drag that as far to the right as I can so that I have three sections one it may be a little tiny section in the middle and then in the right one I'm going to type the number one in the left section I'm going to type the words running head the only word that should be capitalized should be the R, or the only letter that should be capitalized should be the letter R. So everything's lowercase except R. Following that, you'll actually put in the, sh the shortened version of your title, and all of that should be in capital letters. 
So the shortened version of your title and the R in running HUD should be capitalized. Once you've done that, you want to select this text um, and then you want to click the Home tab and change that font to Times New Roman 12 so that you're consistent throughout your paper. Once you've done that, you'll click Other Pages and again you'll move, you'll move these little um, column dividers over and you'll go ahead and put the shortened version of your title in on the left side. Now you don't include the running the words running head in the other pages. All the way to the right in the right section then you will go to the insert tab, click on page numbers and select the option that puts the page number in the top right section. And you'll see the double arrows with the pound sign in between, which means it's automatically going to number your pages. Now you're going to highlight or select that text as well, click on the Home tab, and change your font to Times New Roman there. Once you've done that, you can actually either click in the space where your paper is, or you can go back to Insert and click on Header and Footer to close your header. Now it does not show up until you're in a different view. Uh, you can do a print preview or you can do a reading view and you're able to usually see it then. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is delete this running head and make sure that my title is on the top of the page. Okay, the title on your actual, in your actual paper is not going to be in all caps. Uh, the first letter is always capitalized. The only words after that that are not capitalized, I'm sorry, the only words after that that are not capitalized will be like prepositions, articles, and some conjunctions. Okay? So I'm actually going to kind of cheat a little bit here, and I'm going to copy my title, so Control-C, and I'm going to hit enter once and control V to paste my title. Right now I'm getting my head, my cover page set up. So the first thing on your cover page will be your title and then you'll type your name on the next line and then you'll hit enter and type your college. Okay, I've made up a name just to be fun. Okay, anyway, all right, so you'll have title, and then on the next line, your name. Then on the next line, you'll have your college or school name, and then on the next line, you'll have your title again. So now I want you to click and hold down the left mouse button in front of the A of the first version of your title and move it to select both versions of your title, your name and the college, and then you're going to hit the center tab. Okay, and now you're going to click in front of the first word of the first version of your title and enter 10 times. You'll go down and click in front of the next version of your title or the second version and enter 10 times. Okay, what that does is it actually centers the information on your cover page and it should put the title of your paper at the top of your second page, okay? And you'll see that once the actual page starts to, the page uh, breaks actually show up, okay? Um, you'll see that my paragraphs are not indented, so I need to make sure I do that. So I click in front of the first word in each paragraph and hit tab. Okay, and while I'm doing this, I can verify that my spacing is all consistently the same, which it is. And now my paper is formatted in APA style. And like I said, you can view it by clicking the View tab and then click the Reading View. 
and it will show you your paper with the running head and the correct page numbers. And you'll notice that the spacing is consistent throughout. Okay, and then you can go ahead and go back to that um, edit, edit in browser, and it brings it back up inside the browser where you should definitely name it. So I'm going to name it, it the title of your paper, or the title of your what you save it as should reflect the actual document. So I'm going to call it rhetorical situation guide. Um, of course, yours will be different. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thanks.